In this video, we will create a simple parking places. Create a custom road segment. Press caps lock key to rotate segment. Place the nodes on the road correctly. As you can see, the nodes are slightly misplaced. Let's fix it. Enable add half offset. The nodes are now positioned correctly. Turn on parking builder mode. As you can see, there is a new object on the scene from a begins parking line. Enable position handle. Place where there will be a first parking place. Select the number of parking places. Set the parking slot size. Enable snapping. In our case, the tile size is 1.9, so let's set it to half that. Now, adjust parking position. Enable rotation handle. Change rotation of parking places by dragging circle. Select line handle object type to parking line. Change rotation of parking line by dragging circle. Now, we are ready to make the entrance path. Select the path tab. Click show select path buttons. Select the source path. Enter speed limit. Click create. Create additional waypoints for the path by pressing plus button on the scene. Node clone count is the number of nodes that will be copied for offset paths from the first entry path. In our case, only one waypoint is copied the others will be placed with the offset. If necessary, open the path settings for more fine tuning. Let's do the same for the exit path. Select exit tab. Press create button. Insert waypoints. If required, you can also customize the route's waypoints. Open path tab, select offsets tab, then select desired path. Drag waypoints for the selected path. After all settings are complete, press create line button. As you can notice, we forgot to configure the pedestrian nodes. Let's fix it. Click the edit button next to the line you have created. Open the pedestrian tab. Configure the type of pedestrian node and its weight. Then, set the offset for the enter and exit pedestrian node. Blue node is the entrance node to the parking slot for pedestrians. Green node is a default pedestrian node. Press create line again. Now, let's set traffic group for parking. Press Edit Line. Open Path Tab. Adjust Traffic Group Settings. Traffic groups determine who can enter and spawn on these paths. Recreate Line. Open the Path View Debugger to see the result. Select Traffic Group Type of the Debugger. As you can see, our car parks have a different traffic group. In the next video, I will show how to create a traffic area for advanced parking.